Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm going to show you how to make these Rice Krispie Treat Christmas trees. Now, this is part of a collaboration with the Funny Rats family, who suggested I make these, and I suggested they make marshmallow reindeers. Now, I'm going to show you a little clip up here of what they made, as well as annotate it at the very end of this, and I'm going to put a link in the description below to it, so I want you to check that out. At the end of this video, go check out that video and watch them make those. It's amazing, so you really gotta check that out. As well as check out their channel because they make great videos. They make videos every single day. It's the Funny Rats family and their family vloggers. So check that out, and for right now, just stay tuned and I'll show you step-by-step step how to make these. Start off by melting two tablespoons of butter over medium heat. And when the butter is melted, you just wanna take a 10.5 ounce bag of marshmallows. And you want to stir it in really good. Okay, when they have liquefied really good, you want to turn off the heat. And I'm just going to use some green food coloring. And I'm just going to color this with green food coloring here. Stir it in really good. This is six cups of Rice Krispie Treats. So I'm gonna take these six cups of Rice Krispie Treats and I'm just going to dump it in as I stir. And just stir them really in there really good. When you're happy with how it's covered, we'll just transfer this right over to the counter. Okay, and do the next step, I just have some cooking spray and I'm gonna gently spray my hands and I'm gonna rub it around. This way it'll keep my hands from sticking to the Rice Krispie Treats as I form the shapes of the Christmas trees. Now I've let it cool down a little bit, but not too much uh, because you wanna be able to work with it and just make sure it's easy to touch and not gonna burn you. Um, so I'm just gonna take some a good handful and I'm gonna form it into a cone shape. And you can make these as high as you want, as tall as you want, or as short as you want. It's up to you, really. And you can kind of just play around with it to see how much you need. You need more at the base, less at the top. And when you're happy with it, you can just set it on some wax paper or baking paper of any kind. And set it aside, and I'll do the rest of these, and we'll let these cool. So now we just want to let these cool down a bit before we move on to the next step. Okay, so now that these have cooled down a bit, what I'm going to do is decorate them. And there's a number of options we can do here when you're decorating them. I have some, um, this is just some frosty confetti. It's just in the, in the colors of Christmas where you have red, white, and green. I also have these are edible balls and I think they'll go good with decorating the Christmas tree. And of course I have some red frosting. I made this frosting, but the store-bought frosting works just fine. Um, as well as I have these mini Reese's peanut butter cups, which I'm gonna use as a stand. Now these mini ones are real small. You could get the ones that are a little bigger and they'll work better. So I'm gonna take my frosting and this is just red frosting. It's a pretty thick consistency and I'm going to start from the top and I'm just going to pipe out like garland. Now I'm going to put a dab of frosting right on the top here and I've decided I will use one of these balls to set right on top and I'm going to use these this little confetti to kind of sprinkle around and it'll stick to the frosting. Maybe. That was the plan anyway. So it didn't stick to it the way I wanted it to, but I, it's sticking to it as I take them one by one and push them in there gently. Put a dab of frosting on my Reese's peanut butter cup. And I'll try to pick this up without messing up the frosting. And press that down there just to hold it in place. So that's one right there. That's what it looks like. 
you can do it any way you want. You can decorate it any way you want. Um, this is just how I decorated it. So I'm gonna do the rest of them and I'm gonna play with them a little bit and try to decorate them different ways. Well, thanks everyone for watching to see how to make these Rice Krispie Treat Christmas trees. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit that like button. Also hit that big red subscribe button if you're not already subscribed you get new videos every week. Also be sure to check out the video that Lane and his family made over at the Funny Rats. Really good job they did with that. And if you don't click the annotation, you can also click in the description below. It has a link right to that video, as well as a link to their channel. They are daily vloggers, like I said, and they make videos every single day. So be sure to check it out and write in the comments over there on their uh, video, telling them that James from Fun Foods sent you over to them. So until then, guys, I will see you next week.